My name is Liz Rice um, and I'm the pipe instructor of Moody's Burning District Pipe Band and First Christ and Boys Brigade Pipe Band. Well, I've played the bagpipes for 57 years, <laughs> so, so that's quite a long time. <laughs> I started when I was 14. I seen the City of Belfast Girl Pipers um, in Belfast and I thought I'd love to do that. And I found out, my dad found out where they practiced. I went over to the band practice and that was me. And I've been piping ever since. And that was back in 1962. <laughs> I joined the band in 62 and I learned the tenor drum first because I was learning the pipes at the same time. But I wanted to be out with the band. And in 1963, I went to Canada with the band playing for a three week tour to Toronto playing the tenor drum and as soon as I came back I went straight back on straight on to the pipes then and I've been playing the pipes since 1963. Well we got married in 1972 and we moved to Scotland um, in Easter 73 and of course I just wanted to get back to piping again so I joined what was then called the Braemar Ladies and my pipe major was Mrs Curry which sort of got us some laughs between curry and rice <laughs> um, and I played with them and then the first Christ and Boys Brigade asked me to come and help with them um, so I played with the Braemar ladies first of all when I came to Scotland. I was asked to go and help um, to teach the first Christ and Boys Brigade back in 1982 and um, I went up to help to teach them and then I couldn't do it on my own, so Mrs. Curry and Celia, the drummer, came with me to help. And some of the boys, I was teaching boys from nine year old, ten year old. So one of the boys, David, that I taught, um, eventually went on, carried on with his piping, and it was him who founded Moody's Burning District Pipe Band about 15 years ago. And I said to him, I'll be behind you all the way, and I've walked behind him in the band ever since. So it was quite nice to have a boy who you taught from being a nine-year-old boy, to starting his own band um, and, you know, being there all the time with him. I love teaching because I love whenever a, a, someone comes first of all and they don't know one end of the chanter from the other and you start them off on your right hand to the bottom and the left hand to the top and, and you see them going through all the whole aspect of making silly noises and then suddenly they can make a, a proper noise and eventually it goes from there to learning all their exercises and their tunes and walking beside you in the band and that's that's a big pride to me to see the, the kids you know coming on and walking beside me in the band having learned all that they need to know for the pipe. Receiving a BEM is something um, I'm very privileged to do. I didn't know I was even being nominated for it uh, and I was absolutely delighted. Um, in fact, I thought I wasn't going to get it because I got the letter when I came back from holidays on the 10th of May and it said answer by the 9th of May, but uh, we, we, we answered right away that night and you don't hear anything for a month and then you get your notification that you've been given the BEM. So I just feel very privileged that I've had a life of piping um, and love it and teaching and seeing all these boys and girls coming up and having the whole band there with me and it was just a privilege to think that um, a wee lassie who started to, to pipes when she was 15 was now being awarded a British Empire medal it makes enough means a lot to me so the garden party was the following year like last year and we went to Holyrood um, and seen the Queen I didn't get to meet her there was such a crowd there but it was just a lovely a lovely day to be there and um, just to be part, be part of it all and see all the people who were there from all different walks of life and, and charities and different things and it was just lovely to be there and be part of it all. Anyway, if you want to learn the pipes or the drums or be in a band, yes, by all means, um, our wee band is like a wee family um, and just go for your dream. If, it's, if that was my dream, i seen the pipes when I was 14 and I thought I'd love to do that and I was lucky enough to be able to go and learn and realise my dream after all these years. And uh, I would say to anyone, if it's what you want to do, just go for it.